Name's Glenn Moberly, native Boisean. I started out uh, 14 years old. I bought my first car, a 59 Fiat, and two of my buddies would drive it, and the back seat was only about a foot long, and I was like 98 pounds in those days. <laughs> so I sat in the back seat, and the driver had his head over the top, cruising Maine. <laughs> Mom didn't like it, so I had to get rid of it. It was my grandpa's. It was tan, and it was a uh, delivery one, so it didn't have a back seat. Well, the engine went out in it, so Dad bought a black one. Part of my job, if I wanted the cars, was to change engines. I didn't know anything about it. So my sophomore year, I started skipping school with some of the juniors and seniors and learned to be a mechanic. I bought a 56 Chevy Metal Flake Green from a friend. It had a 327 in it. A friend of mine wanted the 327 and he had a 409 out of his drag car. So he swapped engines for me, which I ended up with one of the fastest street machines in town during the 69-70 era. I ended up being a mechanic for the National Guard, which my career took off from there where I retired. And that's where a lot of my mechanics came on working on Jeeps and trucks and tanks. Down a ways under the underpass was a smooth purse to turn around. We used to drag race for beer. Well, I was drag racing these guys from Twin Falls. I dropped the ball joint. The t car went like that. All of a sudden, I went like that jerking down and saw sparks flying, had to pull over. I was traveling over 100 miles an hour when that happened. Oh, that was back in like 69, 70. First one was a 19, well I start, started riding motorcycles at 10 years old because one of my neighbors had one. Yamaha 80, had a milk carton on back which I hauled stuff. I drove it 11 months out of the year. I had my cold weather gear from the guard, had to take it to work because we only had one car. So I'm riding in the snow with my feet down with this Yamaha 80 with the green milk carton on back. Well, I was looking for a project car because I wanted to get back into hot rods. This guy had this 65, so I took Mike one of my grandsons that likes cars, him and I and Sherry went down to look at the car, drove it, wanted it. So I got it for a good price and then started fixing it up. All four of the grandkids have had a part in this car. We've just been having fun with it, going to car shows. I bought six motorcycles, five pickups, 39 cars, and one toy hauler for a total of 51 vehicles in my life. <laughs> Probably, I had a 65 Malibu Super Sport 283 automatic, and it jacked it up a little bit. And that was probably one of my more favorite cars. I had a 59 Etzel station wagon. We used, used to go out in the fields hunting with six of us and two dogs and all the shotguns could fit in it. Value your childhood, get the experience of your childhood. I've got the good old days. We tell stories all the time. Get out in public, socialize. Get out and experience life while you can and you're young. Yeah. So experience life and treasure the values that life has to offer you.